I'm Audrey and I'm from Babeland and I'm here today to talk to you about the history of vibrators. Doctors invented vibrators or had vibrators in use because they were treating hysteria. So hysteria was a woman's disease. They thought that women would become hysterical and that their wombs would be traveling through their body and strangling them and so they had to coax the womb back down and to do this it was manual stimulation on the genitals which was not in any way thought to be sexual but rather a medical procedure. <laughs> what is the manual treatment? You just lie back. <laughs> So doctors' hands were getting awfully tired, and so they employed vibrators, which were behemoth devices. Things would hook to the ceiling, and they could use these on these patients. Just face that direction and curl up a bit, hugging your knees into your chest. Annie will just operate the foot pedal, which controls the speed. It functions much like a sewing machine. From the late 1800s to the early to the late 1920s, these vibrators became handheld small appliances that people could use in their homes. They were touted to be good for just about any ailment. People used them on their ears to prevent deafness, they used them on their faces, they used them on their chests. They were not thought to be used as sexual devices. Would you like a go? <laughs> started to pop up. And well, in these adult movies, what do you think they had but these vibrators and they were using them for sexual purposes. Well, this made them very taboo. All of a sudden, they went underground. And from about the 1930s to the 1960s, they stayed underground. They were sold with euphemisms or the packaging was discreet. The vibrators were called massagers or marital aids or, but they definitely were not advertised as, you know, sex toys and or how to really use them. Well, in the 1960s, 1970s, the feminist revolution was happening and, well, women took a lot of power and said, you know, I'm gonna take my own pleasure into my own hands. And vibrators were sort of rediscovered for the, their original purpose, if you will. You can see it's got this little dial here that goes from low up to high. <laughs> vibrator is going to replace them, they might feel intimidated by it or, or feel like it's going to drive a wedge between them. But in reality, talking about sex more is just going to increase the intimacy between you and it's, you know, it's going to open up some vulnerability and it's going to make you trust your partner more and keeps the sex life alive and exciting. So for long-term relationships, it's a really great benefit to try new things. So one of the really great things about this play is that it teaches us the history of vibrators and massagers. You know, the sexual revolution only happened about 30 years ago, and we can see from this play that it had its roots a long, long time ago. And, see. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't do it. Get him, get him, get him, get him! A stimulating comedy sure to create a buzz. In the next room or the vibrator play, now through August 28th. Tickets at actheater.org.